asking you, I am just preparing you how to learn Vedic math very properly. I am just asking you all these questions. I am just making your mind. You should ask from yourself how to get answer of all these things very easily. After 5000 years, what will, what will be a universe and a space? What will happen in this cosmos? What will happen to universe? Science can give the answer. Science can give the prediction. No, it is very difficult. It is very difficult. If anything will come almost near to the danger, then only NASA will be able to predict. Still, we are in that mode and we are thinking we have developed too much. But based on the Vedic science, because cyclicity of time, you will able to predict not 5000 years, 5 lakh years, 5, la uh, 5 crores year or 5 billion years, 10 trillion years. Afterwards also, what will be the time you will able to predict? And it is 100% correct. It is 100% correct. It is just a cyclicity of time. Just to tell me one small thing. If right now whatever time is going on, in every everybody watch maybe something different. Seven, 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 seven hours, nine minutes or ten minutes or eight minutes. Just one minute will pass. The next minute it will be a repetition of last 60 seconds. Just common sense. Whatever this minute is going on, once this minute will finish, next minute it will be a repetition of again 60 second means every minute is repeating after 60 second and one hour we have 60 minutes just simple thing i am telling then every hour will repeat after 60 minutes and similarly one day we have 24 hours means one day will repeat after 24 hours then why not year can repeat and this cyclicity cannot go further and further this will go further and further but we have to change our way of thinking and way of uh, premises how we are putting to understand this mathematics vedic math believes time is always cyclic in nature billions of years can be analyzed very easily very easily just i will start i am not going in depth because this is not today topic i am just making you making you just uh, your brain i am making you fertile to understand this topic in very well way and based on that i will able to put the seeds at proper place then it will be it will be grow in grow in proper way like just we'll start from the years years we are keep on putting together then it will become a yuga we are telling it is a yuga kali yuga sat yuga dwapar yuga treta yuga if you are putting all four yuga that is called chatur yuga it will become a maha yuga if 71 maha yuga are happening together then one manvantra will happen that is called manu in shortcut means after after every 71 maha yuga one manu will come the manu also having again cyclicity in nature i am not going in depth it is so interesting topic if i will start to speak related to this next 3 to 4 hours i will keep on a speak you will get benefit you will get the knowledge but that knowledge is right now not needed for your cat preparation but one manu will represent 71 maha yuga and afterwards, next unit is coming Kalpa. Kalpa means if 14 Manvantra will, will happen continuously one by one, then it will make one Kalpa. One Kalpa is equivalent to 12 hours of Brahma, means one day of Brahma. After one Kalpa will complete, again one Kalpa will be night, means nothing will be there. Every unit of time is cyclic, even Brahma is also not one. Don't think, okay, Brahmaji is just a final figure. Age of the Brahma is around 100 years. And you can simple way calculate, we are telling relativity of time. We already have relativity of time. This is four levels of relativity of time is there. Based on that, we are able to, able to measure everything. Like uh, whatever on earth is happening, Kali Yuga is 4.32 lakh years, total span of time. Total span is 4.32 lakh years, 4 lakh 32 thousand years. The span of the Kali Yuga, what is going on? This equivalent to the Brahma, it is how much? You know, 4.3 second only. You can write exactly 4.32 second. Means at that point where Brahma, Brahma is sitting, or you can assume that position in the universe, once 4.32 second will over on Earth, one Kali Yuga will be over that much vast relativity of time and just i am putting few lti learning through images and i am not just uh, making each and everything in detail that is not needed but just i am giving you idea that much complicated thing if we are able to solve in very easy way then why not cat another entrance test it will become a just like if you are good in math you are able to able to play with the numbers you will feel much easy much easy
and it is going to save your five to seven minutes in quant and almost five to seven minutes in dinlr and combinedly these 15 minutes will decide your percentile is coming to 98 or 99 or you will stuck at 90 or 89 these 15 minutes only will decide because exam these two variable again and again i am repeating we have to battle with two things time and accuracy we have to reduce the time and we have to increase the accuracy both are inversely proportional both are inversely proportional if you are reducing the time but your accuracy is coming down then you have to think you have to think solving time should come down but at same same proportion your accuracy should not compromise means accuracy will increase then only we will we are proceeding in right